whispers in the dust. The sun hung low over Dusty Creek, casting long shadows that danced across the parched earth. Marshal Clayton Iron Hand McGraw rode into town, his posse of ruthless gunslingers trailing behind like a pack of wolves. The townsfolk watched from behind shuttered windows, fear etched into their faces. Sheriff Ethan Dusty Hay stood on the porch of the sheriff's office, his hand resting on the worn grip of his revolver. He watched McGraw dismount, the marshal's eyes cold and calculating. Dusty knew this man was here to take over, to bend Dusty Creek to his will. Afternoon, Sheriff, McGraw drawled, a sinister smile playing on his lips. Heard this town could use some new management. Dusty met his gaze, unflinching. This town ain't big enough for the both of us, McGraw. The tension was palpable, like the calm before a storm. Dusty knew he couldn't face McGraw alone. He needed allies. That night, he met with Lila May, the fiery saloon owner, in the back room of the Silver Spur. Her eyes sparkled with determination. We can't let him take our town, Dusty, she said, her voice a whisper. We have to fight back. Doc Hollister, the town's wise and weary doctor, joined them. McGraw's men are terrorizing the townsfolk. We need to gather evidence and rally the people. Billy the Kid Thompson, a young cowboy with a quick draw and a thirst for proving himself, stepped forward. Count me in, Sheriff. I'll do whatever it takes. Together, they formed a covert alliance, working in the shadows to expose McGraw's corruption. They gathered evidence and whispered plans in the dead of night, and slowly, the townsfolk began to rally. The day of reckoning came at high noon. The dusty streets of Dusty Creek were eerily silent as Ethan and McGraw faced off. The townsfolk watched from the safety of their homes, hearts pounding. Time to face the music, partner, Dusty said, his voice steady. McGraw's smile faded, replaced by a snarl. You're a fool, Hayes. This town is mine. The duel was swift and brutal. Bullets flew, kicking up clouds of dust. When the smoke cleared, McGraw lay in the dirt, his iron hand lifeless. Dusty stood tall, his chest heaving, the weight of his past lifting from his shoulders. The townsfolk emerged, their fear was replaced by hope. Dusty Creek was theirs once more, a sun-scorched oasis of resilience amidst a desert of despair. Ethan Hayes, the lone wolf who found his pack, had redeemed himself and saved his town. As the sun set over Dusty Creek, whispers of hope and unity filled the air. The town had faced its darkest hour and emerged stronger, a testament to the power of community and the unyielding pursuit of justice. The days following the showdown were a whirlwind of rebuilding and healing. Dusty Creek, once gripped by fear, began to breathe again. The townsfolk, inspired by Ethan's bravery, came together to restore their town. The saloon buzzed with life, the general store's shelves were restocked, and the sheriff's office became a symbol of hope rather than fear. Ethan, though hailed as a hero, remained humble. He spent his days patrolling the streets, ensuring that peace was maintained. His nights, however, were often restless. The ghosts of his past still lingered, but they were quieter now, overshadowed by the gratitude and respect of the townsfolk. Lila May, ever the pillar of strength, became a close confidant. Their late-night conversations in the saloon's back room were filled with laughter, plans for the future, and the occasional tear. She had seen the worst of Dusty Creek and now reveled in its rebirth. Doc Hollister, with his steady hands and wise words, continued to care for the townsfolk. He often reminded Ethan that healing was a process, both for the body and the soul. His presence was a comforting constant in the ever-changing landscape of Dusty Creek. Billy the Kid, Thompson, now a respected deputy, patrolled alongside Ethan. The young cowboy had matured, his hot-headedness tempered by the trials they had faced. He looked up to Ethan, seeing in him the kind of man he aspired to be. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow over the town, Ethan stood on the porch of the sheriff's office. Martha Hayes, his estranged wife, approached, her silhouette framed by the fading light. Their eyes met, and in that moment, words were unnecessary. The pain of the past was acknowledged, but so was the promise of a new beginning. Welcome home, Martha, 
Ethan said softly, his voice filled with emotion. She smiled, a tear slipping down her cheek. It's good to be home, Ethan. As the stars began to twinkle in the vast western sky, Dusty Creek settled into a peaceful night. The town had faced its darkest hour and emerged stronger, united by the bonds of community and the unyielding pursuit of justice. Ethan Hayes, once a lone wolf, had found his pack and his purpose. In the end, Dusty Creek was more than just a town, it was a testament to resilience, redemption, and the enduring spirit of the Wild West. And as long as the whispers in the dust carried tales of bravery and hope, the legacy of Dusty Creek would live on.